In the last unit, we looked at policies as solutions to problems. In this unit, we're going to change gears a little bit and look at programs. Programs are conceived of as solutions to some kind of problem that exists. They're just an ongoing solution. So remember this definition, a program is a set of resources and activities directed toward one or more common goals. Uh, these common goals are the, the things that we've identified as our end state for society. The program is kind of an ongoing way to try to bring those, uh, those goals to reality. The programs that we're dealing with are typically going to be the product of the government, um, although private and nonprofit organizations can each uh, administer programs. Um, of course, we will be dealing primarily with the public and nonprofit sectors, uh, but uh, programs can take really a variety of forms. Uh, they can they can be very large, kind of the federal programs that you know about, like supplemental nutritional assistance or the community development block grant. Uh, these are large, massive, federally funded programs. Um, and then, of course, they can be very small, um, and they can be implemented by by nonprofit organizations. And they take the form of, of any number of things. Just as an example, you are enrolled in an academic program here at Delaware State University. And in the rest of this unit, we're going to be looking at program evaluation. And remember, uh, this allows uh, funders uh, and oversight agencies um, and the citizens that they represent and serve to make decisions about funding and governance uh, and implementation decisions. So we are going to walk through the, the beginning stages of the program evaluation process.